Question number one. When a traffic signal isn't working at an intersection, drivers should. 1. Stop before entering the intersection and let all other traffic go first. 2. Come to a complete stop, then proceed when it is safe to do so. 3. Slow down or stop, if necessary. The correct answer is the second one. Question number two. You should not start across an intersection if you know you will block the intersection when the lights turn red. One. Unless you entered the intersection on a green light. Two. Under any circumstance. 3. Unless you entered the intersection on a yellow light. The correct answer is the second one. Question number 3. What do flashing red lights on a school bus indicate? 1. The bus is about to stop. 2. The bus is stopped to load or discharge passengers. 3. Traffic that approaches from either direction may proceed. The correct answer is the second one. Question number 4. What is the first thing you should do if your wheels move off the pavement? 1. Pull the steering wheel back. 2. Pull over to the right and sound your horn to warn the other drivers. 3. Ease your foot off the gas pedal and brake gently. The correct answer is the third one. Question number 5. Blocking an intersection during rush hour traffic is not permitted. 1. Under any circumstances, even if your light is green. 2. Unless you entered the intersection on a green light. 3. Unless you have the right of way or a green light. The correct answer is the first one. Question number 6. A flashing yellow light means. 1. The light will soon change from green to red. 2. The light will soon change from green to red. 3. Drive with caution. The correct answer is the third one. Question number 7. All children under age 8 riding in your vehicle must use a child passenger restraint system unless. 1. A child passenger restraint system is not available. 2. They are 4 feet and 9 inches tall or taller and wear a safety belt. 3. They refuse to use the child passenger restraint system. The correct answer is the second one. Question number 8. An emergency vehicle that uses lights and a siren can be unpredictable. Why? 1. Emergency vehicle drivers are not required to be careful. 2. The driver can legally pass red lights. 3. Emergency vehicles must go faster than the posted speed limit when it is safe to do so.
The correct answer is the second one. Question number nine. A red painted curb means. One, no stopping, standing, or parking. Two, stop no longer than the time posted to load or unload passengers or freight. Three, stop only long enough to pick up or drop off passengers. The correct answer is the first one. Question number 10. If your vehicle is equipped with airbags, 1. Always use your seat belts even. 2. The use of seat belts is optional. 3. Never use your seat belts. The correct answer is the first one. Question number 11. What is the main reason night driving is more difficult than daytime driving? 1. Reduced visibility. 2. Driving within the range. 3. The use of headlight is required by law. The what is the main reason night is driving is more one. difficult Question than daytime driving? A vehicle is stopped on the right shoulder of the road ahead with its hazard lights on. You should. 1. Slow down and pass very carefully. 2. Increase your speed and change lanes to the left. 3. Drive onto the right shoulder to see what has happened. The correct answer is the first one. Question number 13. Unless prohibited by a sign, drivers may make a U-turn. 1. At an intersection on a one-way street. 2. In front of a school. 3. At an intersection with a green light. The correct answer is the third one. Question number 14. During an enforcement stop, you should. 1. Acknowledge the officer's presence by stepping out of your vehicle. 2. Move on to the center median and then stop. 3. Turn on your right turn signal before moving your vehicle to the right shoulder of the road. The correct answer is the third one. Question number 15. This sign warns drivers of 1. A sharp turn. 2. A side road. 3. A crossroad. The correct answer is the first one. Question number 16. When drivers see a wrong way sign, 1. They must drive past this sign and reach the next intersection. 2. They are going the wrong way on an expressway exit ramp. 3. They must not leave the pavement except in an emergency. The correct answer is the second one. Question number 17. You want to turn left ahead. In the middle of the road there is a lane marked as shown. You must. 1. Not enter this lane for any reason. 
2. Turn from your current traffic lane after signaling. 3. Merge completely into this lane before you make your left turn. 4. The correct answer is the third one. Question number 18. A person may legally ride in the back of a pickup truck when 1. The sides of the pickup bed are at least 24 inches high. 2. The back of the pickup is covered with a camper shell. 3. In secured seats and using approved safety belts. The correct answer is the third one. Question number 19. Traffic lights are normally from the top to bottom or left to right. 1. Green, yellow and red. 2. Red, green and yellow. 3. Red, yellow and green. The correct answer is the third one. Question number 20. When driving at night you should. One, make sure you can stop within the distance lighted by your headlights. Two, drive using only your parking lights. Three, use your low beam headlights whenever possible in open country. The correct answer is the first one. Question number 21. What is the meaning of red traffic signs? One, regulatory. Two, stop, do not enter or wrong way. Three, high emphasis warning. The correct answer is the second one. Question number 22. You are driving on a freeway posted for 65 miles per hour. The traffic is traveling at 70 miles per hour. You may legally drive. 1. Between 65 miles per hour and 70 miles per hour. 2. Between 65 miles per hour and 70 miles per hour. 3. No faster than 65 miles per hour. The correct answer is the third one. Question number 23. Gauging the speed of a motorcycle may be difficult because 1. Motorcycles take up less of your field of vision. 2. Motorcycles often slow down by downshifting. 3. Many motorcyclists do not activate the brake light. The correct answer is the first one. Question number 24. When you see this red and white sign, you should stop and 1. Check traffic in all directions before proceeding. 2. Let all vehicles that arrive before or after you go first. 3. Check for vehicles in the direction you plan on going, then proceed. 4. The correct answer is the first one. Q. 
Question number 25. What is the meaning of orange traffic signs? One, warning of school, pedestrian, and bicycling activity. Two, construction and maintenance warning. Three, yield. The correct answer is the second one. Question number 26. This yellow sign means. One, there is a traffic signal ahead. Two, controlled railroad crossing ahead. Three, be prepared to stop if the light is flashing. The correct answer is the first one. Question number 27. What is the benefit of a space cushion around your vehicle? 1. It inflates to protect you from injury in case of a collision. 2. If another driver makes a mistake, you have time to react. 3. Other drivers can cut in front of you, improving traffic flow. The correct answer is the second one. Question number 28. This sign means. 1. The divided highway on which drivers are traveling ends ahead. 2. Roundabout ahead. Slow down. 3. The highway ahead is divided into two one-way roadways. The correct answer is the third one. Question number 29. If your gas pedal is stuck, you should. 1. Ease your foot off the gas pedal and brake gently. 2. Turn off the ignition if your vehicle has power steering. 3. Hook your shoe under the pedal and see if you can free it. If not, shift into neutral and use the brake to slow your vehicle and get off the road. The correct answer is the third one. Question number 30. When driving on a multi-lane street with two-way traffic, 1. You should drive ahead of or behind the other vehicles. 2. It is safest to drive in the lane next to the center line. 2. It is safest to drive in the lane next to the center line. 3. Drive alongside the other vehicles so the drivers can see you. The correct answer is the first one. Question number 31. You should always turn on your emergency flashers when 1. You are driving in heavy fog. 2. Your vehicle has broken down on the roadway. 3. Your vehicle has broken down on the roadway. The correct answer is the second one. Question number 32. You are entering a roadway from a private road, and you need to turn left. You have to yield to. 1. Vehicles from the left. 2. Vehicles from the right. 3. Vehicles from both directions. 
The correct answer is the third one. Question number 33. In the following situations, drivers should increase their following interval. One, when following vehicles that are required to come to a stop at railroad crossings. Two, when it is hard to see ahead because of bad weather. Three, all of the above. The correct answer is the third one. Question number 34. This sign means 1. One-way road widens into two lanes ahead. 2. Vehicles on this road travel in two directions. 3. There is a divided highway ahead. The correct answer is the second one. Question number 35. To avoid becoming an aggressive driver, you should. 1. Adjust your schedule to drive during times with the most highway traffic. 2. Listen to heavy metal music. 3. Allow enough travel time to reach your destination on schedule. The correct answer is the third one. Question number 36. You are approaching a railroad crossing with no warning devices and are unable to see 400 feet down the tracks in one direction. The speed limit is... 1. 15 miles per hour. 2. 20 miles per hour. 3. 25 miles per hour. The correct answer is the first one. Question number 37. If you continually pass the other vehicles on a road with one lane in each direction, you will. 1. Help prevent the chances of a crash occurring due to traffic congestion. 2. Get to your destination much safer. 3. Increase your chances of being involved in an accident. The correct answer is the third one. Question number 38. Vehicles entering or exiting a roundabout. 1. Must slow down. 2. Must yield to all traffic. 3. Have the right of way. The correct answer is the second one. Question number 39. Which of the following is true about railroad crossings? 1. Trains cannot swerve out of the way. Never stop on the railroad tracks. 2. Flashing red lights indicate you must stop and wait. 3. All of the above. The correct answer is the third one. Question number 40. If you see orange construction signs or cones on a freeway, you must. 1. Make a U-turn because the lane ends ahead. 2. Be prepared for workers and equipment ahead. 3. Maintain your current speed while changing lanes.
The correct answer is the second one.